Welcome back everybody and today we're going to talk about the catch rig. The catch rig might be the best rig for cruisers out there. It's a very very sturdy rig, it performs really well in heavier winds uh, and that's because of the mitzen mast which is the aft mast, the back mast and that balances the boat out a lot. It makes sure that you have like a very balanced power of the boat and uh, among cruisers this is known as the, maybe the perfect cruising rig. It's, it's ideal for people that want to um, do long distance cruising, long term cruising, offshore, that needs, needs a, need a versatile rig that's easy to operate single handed because it's a very, well because of the, all right, let's dive into it, right? Because of the, way the sail plan is set up, you have an extra mast, so you have an extra sail. And this extra sail means you get a, a whole lot of a whole lot more sail area and this means the sail area is divided over more smaller sails than with for example the Bermuda rig. The Bermuda rig is very efficient but it also um, has to get in a lot of sail area into actually one main and, and a jib so that's two sails for you while the the catch rig it can use three sails uh, at, at the least for the same amount of sail area so as with the gaff rig which i did in last week's video the stress on the rigging is reduced by adding more sails because you divide all the um, forces necessary for providing lift and stuff uh, you divide them up. This means the sails are easily, more easily managed by a small crew or one person. So if you're a cop hole and you want to sail around the world for example, the catch might be the ideal rig. Also, as with the gaff rig, the masts can be a bit shorter, the stress and the strain on the rigging is reduced which could lead to less maintenance costs, but this is purely theoretical so if you know if you have are experienced with the catch rig and you know what it does to the maintenance cost because it could in my mind either go up and down because it might go either way because there's more rigging which is more expensive there's more sales which is more expensive but the sales are smaller which is less expensive M might be you don't have to uh, switch out sails as often or might be you don't use the main sail as often so you don't need to replace that one and that one is particularly is expensive also the rigging might be a bit cheaper a bit more softer materials a bit less hardware to worry about I don't know so if you do know please leave it in the comments below I'm eager to find out what you know about it so that's a uh, in a bird's eye view the advantages of the catch rig and is especially uh, an effective rig with larger boats let, let's say 40 feet and up because it's so well balanced because the aft mast the mizzen mast it acts like kind of a an air rudder like a wind rudder so you can use that to gain uh, additional control over the stern and it's also very handy or so I've been told because I've never sailed one myself um, to use to maneuver in tight spots when you don't want uh, uh, all the sails up another great advantage of the catch rig is um, it makes reefing a lot more easy and this is why it's so easily managed single-handed or with just two people and um, because of the additional sail and because it also it's quite all right to sail um, with the jib and the jibber which is the aft sail um, it's so well balanced out that you can put down the mill entirely or when uh, heavy winds come rolling in you could just reef the main slowly or just take it down entirely without losing a lot of control or speed because you still got two sails up and then you reef down um, the mitten uh, sail uh, just a little um, and you, ro you roll up the, the, the jib a bit and you're good you're all, all storm ready now so you could turn it from a full rig to a storm rig instantly almost instantly almost painlessly as well uh, the smaller sails make this a lot easier as well
So that main advantage of the smaller sales, the more sales, it gives a more versatile sale plan and it gives you a lot more options in all kinds of conditions and it is, it is actually said that the cat trick performs better downwind than the bermuda rig because of the increased sail area uh, it also gives a bit more balanced sailing experience so a bit more control um, and it's easier to use in a lot of ways so I think it's a very versatile rig. It's perhaps a far more interesting rig than the Marconi rig or the Bermuda rig, which is the same. Don't tell anyone <laughs> because we need things to look difficult as sailors. Um, we don't want you to start uh, and comprehend everything. We want to be experts in a way. All right, enough of that. So the thing is with the catch rig, it is actually slower. Um, it is slower than a Bacconi rig. Uh, upwind performance is a lot less. It's a lot less effective upwind. But in almost all conditions, it is a very groovy rig, let's say. So it's made for comfort over speed. And I, I, I bet you you won't... The speed difference is not that immense, while the difference in comfort is said to be at no other level. So it's a lot more comfortable ride, but also in ease of use. So for a long-term cruising solution, I think you might want to consider the catch rig. That's it for now. Be sure to check out my other videos and like and subscribe if you want more of these coming your way. And for now, smooth sailing.